everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Michelle and in this video I'm just going to be going over my 2023 mid-year lineup and whew, it is a lot different than what it was at the beginning of the year <laughs> so if that's something that interests you stick around I'll just be going into it all right so um this is just what is essentially my planner stack for mid-year July 2023 like I said, it is a lot different than what I was using at the beginning of the year. The beginning of the year, I was in an A5 Hobonichi Cousin. I was using a Hobonichi Weeks. And yeah, I'm not using any of that at this time. Which kind of sucks because I really do love those planners. But just wasn't working functionally for me. Um, I was also using a B6 Common Planner. Which, and I think about March, April, something like that. I had a mishap where uh, my Common Planner got kind of messed up. And... I had to try to figure out something else to use for three months because I did have the half year version. And at the time, Catherine at Sterling Inc. did not offer any of the other half years um, setups. So I think at the time it was also uh, the undated were not available. So I was just trying to really struggle to find something and scramble to find something that would work for me for the year. And I've been toying with different planner systems since then. And I've kind of landed on something that is working. So, so I did do a recent planner flip through of my pocket rings and it kind of explained all of the sections in it why it's working for me just a brief overview I have been using pocket rings and this little notebook here on a day-to-day -day basis just because it is really compact it's really travel friendly I can fit it in really any purse more most purses anyways and not have any problems it doesn't add a lot of weight though she is a little thick <laughs> and she is kind of thick and heavy for pocket rings she's not as big as you know like an a5 ring setup or something like that definitely does not weigh the same and this is what i typically take with me everywhere so um every once in a while i do take this little notebook out and i carry just that um just for like errands and dailies and whatever else but for the most part if i need to take this with me it's not a problem and these are pocket rings in the Lux. Um, line by Moterm and this is in the vegetable tan line in the color honey so that's and like I said if you want to check out the recent video that I put out on my pocket ring setup you know you can check that out I'll put a link for that um, this is also my social media planner let's just kind of move that over this is my social media planner it, it does not house any social media lists though I actually have migrated those to my pocket setup uh, just because I can carry those with me everywhere. But this, this is what I use for my solidified social media plans. I do have sections in here outside of the monthlies to write down lists and ideas for projects. And some, I do write out some doodles. I do have some design ideas right here. Things that I would like to print out, things I would like to make, such, such and such. And I don't have such a big thick notebook for it. For the most part, it does stay here at the house. Um, I do not take this to work with me or anything like that. It's more like a desk planner, but it is really useful for me to write down all of those final plans. And once I get started with filming and things like that, or writing out ideas for video notes, then they go in here. So this is what I'm using for that. Also, I do tend to use a bit of stickers and deco and sticker kits and whatnot in here. And it really does satisfy that need to have a creative outlet with stickers <laughs> don't judge me i grew up in the lisa frank era okay like in you know i was born in the 80s grew up in the 90s and lisa frank was really big and we were obsessed with stickers in that age group so that's pretty much an obsession that i've had since childhood so it, i don't see it going away anytime soon so this allows me to have a creative outlet for it so yes it is functional all right so the next thing this is a passport size 520 page notebook and this is from sterling inc and she did a release of these recently as of right now i believe these are out of stock on her website but she did mention that once they were completely sold out of all of them even the imperfect ones that she would restock again um so just be on the lookout for that if you're interested in this size i absolutely love it this is such a fun size for me it's so portable this is what i'm using for spiritual notes i have been reading a lot of um herbalism books and books on plants like how to identify certain ones out in the wild and I've been writing my notes in here and it's so cool to have similar notes in one place absolutely love it it is a bit on the chunky side it doesn't fit with my pocket rings but if I add it to my purse it doesn't add like a ton of weight so really like this and I hope that she does restock them because I plan on buying more <laughs> 
All right, so the next thing is my journaling setup. Now, at the beginning of the year, I was using a Hobonichi Cousin for journaling, and I really started to find that it was just too big. I wasn't using it every day, so those empty pages were just even more annoying. <laughs> I did actually have a little bit of a series at the beginning of the year where I was drawing in them as well, which is really fun, and I still want to do that, but I feel like an A6 size is such a better fit for me, so this is what I've been using for that. So I have been writing down some journaling pages, which I won't go into too much because, you know, for obvious reasons. But I know that some of you are aware that my grandmother passed in um, May. There's just an example of some things that I've been putting in here. So I've been putting some notes uh, as well as life events, you know, things that I, how I feel about those things, things to do with my G-baby. It's really, really small. It's really slim. While it is bigger than the passport size, it's not overwhelming. So yes, if I need to carry all of these things with me, it's not that bad. <laughs> I can absolutely do it without having to worry about carrying huge bags with me. So this is my setup for that. I love it. So the next thing is this little passport traveler's notebook I got from Amazon. So um, actually it's upside down. <laughs> all right, so let's fix that. I'm kind of referring back to Foxy Fix. When Foxy Fix was still around, they used to have this line called the Everly line. It was in this floral type of print leather. And this is the exact same type of leather. So even though I was never able to buy the Everly, because I think it was made as a limited edition. And now that Foxy Fix is out of business, you know, the likelihood of you finding somebody that would give one up or sell one is unlikely. But I found this one on Amazon. And I think it was like 15 bucks. I'm like, you know what? Bet. Let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> and I do have a link provided down below for those of you that are interested in purchasing one. I really do like the texture of this one. I have another one from the same company, which it's a little bit more of a shiny consistency, but this one is definitely more matte and I love the texture of it. I love the feel of it. And I have been using this on my recent art journaling videos. So if you guys haven't checked those out, those are listed in my short section. And I've been using these for, um, I've been using these for art journaling and I'm actually having a ton of fun with these and I can't wait to kind of do a flip through of the final product towards the end of the year. But this is really compact. The price point is awesome. It's really affordable. The notebooks come with it. You do get like a blank one, a lined notebook and a grid notebook when you purchase it. And I really for 15 bucks at the time that I purchased it, couldn't really beat that price. So I did add my own pen loop here, but I think I bought those for like $5 on Amazon as well. I'll provide a link for everything down below. All right, the next thing that I'm gonna be using, and this isn't really for planning, this is more for like, um, this is more for like a creative outlet as well, is this little bitty notebook. <laughs> so while I have an art journal for like personal things and stuff like that, this is just gonna be for fun. So just be on the lookout for that. So if you like those types of videos, uh, scrapbooking, junk journaling, things like that, this is what I'm gonna be using this for. I did purchase this off of, I think it was Shein, and it was only for like two bucks. But I have seen these on Amazon, maybe for six to eight at the time of filming. I don't, I'm not 100%. I'll provide a link if you guys wanna check that out as well. But I really look forward to doing some scrapbooking slash junk journaling in these going to be a ton of fun. I've been, last but not least, I've been using these micro notebooks from Happy Planner and they are really, really fun. This one is a blank one, but I do have a couple of them. And I've been using these just for like little random notes while I'm sitting here at my desk. <laughs> and this is really helpful. Like I can rip the page out and I can give it to my husband if he needs a quick list to go to the store or something like that. Not only are they fun, but they're really useful. So yeah, okay. That's pretty much gonna be it though. This is what I've been using to kind of keep myself organized lately, guys. And even though it seems like a lot, um, it's really not. And they're all really small notebooks. So they don't take up a lot of room on my desk. I'm able to store them efficiently with no problem. This right here is probably the size of one A5 notebook. And even though I love the A5 size and I've used it in the past, this year it's just not really vibing with me. So this setup right here, awesome. <laughs> like I said, completely different from what I decided to use at the beginning of the year, which was an A5, a B6, and I believe a Hobonichi Weeks. Now this is working for now. I know that what I refer to as Planner Christmas is coming up, which is like where all the new releases start coming up like around the August, September and towards the end of the year. 
I know that Hobonichi does theirs in what, September? They start announcing things in August. Sterling Inc. has already done their pre-order for next year. Some other shops have been doing pre-orders and I'm already overwhelmed. So the fact that I'm able to stay in the same system without having any trouble is just amazing to me. <laughs> and um, I'm not really tempted by a lot of the things right now, but I really can't say if that's going to, I'm going to be able to say that in the next few months. Because like I said, a lot of temptation is coming up where I'm going to have a lot of FOMO. Ugh, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how long this lasts. But for now, this is what my mid-year setup looks like. I will probably do another update once we've reached the third quarter of the year. We're looking at October and we'll see where we're at there. I can't really speak too much on what I will be using for next year. I know that some people are already thinking about those setups, but we'll see. Now, I did participate in the Sterling Ink pre-order. And the main reason for that is because I have the, um, I wanted to get some of the passport planners. So I did get those. And if they don't work for me, the really cool thing about that is I feel like I will be able to resell them easily without any problem. So um, that's why I have no issues with the pre-orders for next year, even though I'm not really sure where I'm going to be as far as the planners go. This is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys found it interesting or useful. And if you have any questions, please list them in the comment section down below. Any of the links that I will be listing may be affiliate links, so be wary of that. I will catch you on the next video, guys. Later.